sound good. No. What's your name? My name's Andrew. This was a 1984 Jeep CJ7, so me and my father stripped it down to the bare chassis and drivetrain and axles, and then we've rebuilt it from scratch with mostly new parts. The previous owners to this Jeep were also a father and son working on it. They had actually stripped it down to the bare frame and they sandblasted it, painted it, replaced a bunch of parts, and they were in process of restoring this Jeep as well. Okay. But the son had a, a very unfortunate accident that he didn't survive. And the father couldn't bear to see it in the backyard every day anymore. Um, this was, this guy was a, a friend of my father's. He lived down the street from, from us at the time. And we, made a deal with him to take possession of this Jeep and restore it. And we made a promise to finish it for him and allow him to see it built in his image with what him and his son were trying to do. We, uh, we ended up trading him a boat and a couple hundred bucks on top of it. He was a boat mechanic. And uh, it's been the parts that were expensive. Buying the parts to restore it were expensive. Getting the actual Jeep, we had maybe a thousand dollars invested in everything to get it. Me and my father have always worked on things together. We had a couple other project vehicles. We had a 1972 Volkswagen Beetle chassis with a fiberglass body on it that we had rebuilt from scratch and then this was the next project after that. We've had this project going for close to 12 years. Um, it's been intermittent. We've, we've worked on it intermittently in those 12 years, so that's why it's taken so long. Um, we, the way it sits right now is the way that it's pretty much looked for the last six years. Once we got to this milestone, get the body on it, get the engine running, and getting it to move under its own power. It's been just a bunch of little things here and there as time allows, especially since I started working full time. My dad worked full time. We don't have the same time that we used to have to work on it. We've faced a lot of obstacles rebuilding this Jeep. Um, we had no idea what we were doing. We were guessing the whole time. Um, there's been a lot of parts that we have bought that didn't fit correctly, um, broke a few things, a few bad parts, like earlier today, the ignition control module that I replaced, that was causing all types of ignition problems. I got this fancy ignition control module. It was supposed to fix all my problems and I put the old school one back in and now the ignition coil is not overheating. It dropped over 100 degrees, so maybe now I can keep an ignition coil in it for longer than 40 miles. It'd be great. I feel that I fixed it finally. Hopefully. learn to work. We, we know each other's strengths and weaknesses. My dad can't do any type of electrical work, for example. That's my strong side, his weak side, but as far as getting some of the body work done, he's a lot better at getting things lined up and making it look better than I am. I don't have the patience for it. Um, but overall, We've learned that we can't even actually that we can't work together like we used to. Um, we we work we're, we're too similar, so I end up arguing about the same thing. We'll be on the same page saying that we're well, we'll both be correct basically. It's just how we're going about it, and sometimes it's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. It definitely keeps it interesting. 
very difficult to estimate how much money we have invested into this vehicle because of all the little trips to the park store to get this little pack of connectors or this nut or bolt or anything like that. And then even down to lug nuts, we had to go buy lug nuts. We had to buy all the little parts. Adding it up would be very difficult, if not impossible, to do. But it'd have to be somewhere around ten thousand dollars that we have invested so far, and there's still a lot more to go to be repaired, replaced, or upgraded to match the rest of the vehicle. I don't know if I would be able to attempt another project like this again in the near future. I need a better, well-equipped garage with more space. My garage is a disaster inside. It's very difficult to stay organized in such a small space with so many different toys, projects going on. I, I typically end up working on stuff outside in the driveway here and then I have to pack things up and, and all that when it gets dark out and it makes it very difficult to stay organized and on track because I basically have to start over every day. If I were to do another project like this again, I would have to have a much larger garage and that's not going to happen in, in the near future. How was it? Runs better now. Took long enough.